Because why wouldn't she? Doesn't she have a really nice shiny sword? Not really. She gets one attack. Yeah. Yeah, I bet she's used At her, best uh, case scenario, with a crit, she smart. will do like 12, 12. 14 damage. Hmm. Yeah. And with this, well, she's no, only hitting for 11 nothing. at minimum. <laughs> Druids don't even get extra attack, do they? Actually, no, she's no. hitting for 28, so that would be 14 at minimum. So that'll be a deck save by the T Rex, who cannot dodge the lightning. He is not that guard from before, and he will take 28 damage. Just ignore that, I was testing it. Yep, and then on the T-Rex's turn, wisdom he save. will... Oh, yeah, he'll have a Wisdom save, which he will fail, roll Spiritual Guardians. Cool. Where is it? There it is. Wrong sheet. I now get to know your, your pain. <laughs> I now know. You're dealing with two sheets? You know our pain, Nelto? <laughs> <laughs> two sheets? Oh my! Oh! Spirit Guardians, that is going to be 23 radiant damage, which he had failed, so he's going to take 23 radiant damage, and this guy, he looks like he's on his last legs, and he's looking at the fight, seriously reconsidering as he, uh, he is far too, let me roll another wisdom save on him. He is far too angry to have the common sense to run away, so he's going to keep attacking. He goes for the T-Rex that Ciara has become, going right for the jaw, biting down, and you will take 24 damage, so put that in the green. And you will be grappled, which restrains. And his tail is going to swing around, he's going to try to hit Cassidy again, and he will hit, dealing 20 bludgeoning damage. I have advantage on... Yep. This. Yeah, I made it. And Cassie made hers. Yippee. I, it's, it's, all my attacks are being sent to the DM because yeah, the sheet. So, sorry, guys. Huh? Yeah, no, it, it passed. It was a 15 and a 23. Next up is Ciara's turn. You have the T-Rex's attacks. You are, however, are restrained. So restrained, you cannot move. Um, disadvantage on attacks. The attack rolls against the creature of advantage, and your attacks have disadvantage. Against the creature and the creature tackles have this. Uh, so you would have disadvantage attacking him, but looking at those rolls, you yeah, see the modifiers. Going, yeah. So you go forward to try and bite the T Rex, I assume? Yeah. Alright, you will successfully bite the T Rex, and as it's biting your um your neck somehow, you reach around, you latch onto its neck, and you just start shaking your head back and forth. The T-Rex eventually goes limp as you kind of throw him off to the side here. He's dead. Yep. He's dead, We're eating good tonight, guys. I guess and then I'm going to take a 5, 10 feet this way. And Nuzzle Azul, Azul a little. Yeah. Azul will look up at you at this point and she will nod at you and looking at the ship and seeing that you can't get underground anymore, she will drop the concentration. No, no, yet! Dropping you back to normal speed? Or normal size? Not yet. She can go down. Zoo already did it. We opened that up, but yeah. I would have wanted to go down anyway. Yeah. So Zoo will reduce you back to normal size. That was done more for the immediate goal of keeping you alive. Could I move there? Uh, yes, you can. I'll allow that. Oh, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, allow you to, I'll allow you to put your token anywhere where the T-Rex token was. Yeah, I wanted it to be at least like right around there just so I could have that because I saw gobbies come out of it. Yep. And, and for... closing T-Rex sheet. Yep, and I'll take away... I'm going to close it myself. I actually don't mind if you still have access to it for the time being. Yeah. Azul at this point will also back the hell away from that little thing there. And she kind of looks a little relieved after everything that has just happened. And she is going to say she does not have mass healing or anything. So she'll probably... she can't get up to... Actually, she would have been able to get up to Cassidy, so she would have instead gone up to Cassidy. She will give Cassidy a little bit of cure wounds. I'll, I was going to get it next turn. A little bit of cure wounds. You can Zul has not used much of any You're of her spells. Have a lot needed for Cassidy there. Yeah, and Azul has not used like any of her spells. She just rolled like shit. <laughs> and then she is going to. She has thrown out two bardic inspirations. I did not have it on the sheet for some odd reason. Let me fix Ouch. That. You can 
see that. So she has already thrown out two bardic inspiration. She's going to throw out a third. So Shiki, Azul will inspire you. Finally. <laughs> and that'll be it for her turn. So next up is Lily. Lily's going to go, somehow... go in the orange door and okay, try so... to take out the goblin teleporter. How much movement was that, by the way? Ten feet. I've got Ten 20 feet, feet So left. 15 feet will get you to here. Oh, there's oh. actually stuff to see. Um, yeah. And there should be two gobbies in here. so. And you should see two gobbies. Yep. So I am going to gobby it with my gobby gob and gob. But what did he go into that one? Uh, oh, that okay. will... They had their shields up, so that'll miss. Really? I'm going to... Can I use Bardic Inspiration? You can use your Bardic Inspiration. I'll allow it. All right. What is it, a D8? It's a D8 for now, yeah. I believe. Thank it should God. be. She's level 8. Thank God, because I didn't realize what it was. Yeah, it's a D8 to uh, any D20 roll. So that'll hit? Yeah, so that'll, that'll hit effortlessly now. First one's dead. I'm going to go into this guy and uh, gob it. Yep, and that one will also die out, right? In this room, now that you have a chance to look around it, it's been ransacked a little bit, which is to be expected with the goblins, but it appears to have survived the crash that this ship has undoubted, as you've known that it's taken, rather well, and this looks to be some kind of VIP lounge. Like, there's a nice carpet sitting out there, two nice chairs, a good um, uh, love seat, a nice bed with those look like some of the finest blankets. I'm not going to say the finest blankets you've seen, but they look like something that your parents would actually be willing to sleep in. Yeah, kind of crappy place. But there's no so more goblins my in room. here, right? Oh, I'll take them. You don't see any other goblins in there, no. No more goblins in here, she's calling out. Okay. Wrong. So that is for, for, that's it for Lily, I believe? Mm -hmm. Okay, next up is Ione. 10, 15, 15. All right. So, 10. That's a 10. What are 25. you doing? 25. I'm going down here. All right. So, it was 35 to be right there? Yep. So, 40. Actually, I got to move. You actually see that there's a goblin. In the should be able to get down to the next floor. So, you'll be moved down to here. You see that there are there's that fancy goblin there again, and there's a few other goblins down here. All right, he's getting his ass handed to him. Okay. <laughs> Put it the Attack. wrong way. Attack. And this goblin, he has a mace and a shield and that similar splint armor. This first attack, he kind of just knocks out of the way with his shield. He kind of smirks at you. <laughs> All right. The second one, he doesn't even try to block with the shield as it bounces off his armor. Oh, trying to knock him prone. <laughs> okay. Now this attack will hit, however, as it goes to hit, he reaches over, pulls the goblin directly above him, and puts him in the way of your fist as you hit this other goblin. He takes five damage, and he needs to roll a save to go prone. Oh, goblin bosses. <laughs> Uh, I love the, how stupid they are. Okay, it's a deck save for prone. Yeah. And this yeah. goblin does not go prone. Bobby's <laughs> got good decks, bro. Can't wait to see what the goblin ratio is. <laughs> and Pathfinder was like plus four to decks. And the last hit. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> and this one does actually hit him. <laughs> I see why you would Where go. Did he, get, he has the DC too. Yeah, I see because you can repeat things, so let me do that, DC. That was I the see why you would one, go which, then, man. Yep, he'll pass, because that is the same mod, I believe. 90% sure. He has a better mod, actually, so he would have passed even better. He is not prone. You can back away without taking tax opportunity, because of mobile. Not worried about correct. It. Technically, she attacked both of them, too, so she could. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. what? Yeah, I'm going to go head back out. You have how much more movement? That was uh, 40, 40 there. 40, 15. So you'll be able to get to there, actually. Uh, you, said 15, you said 10 or 15? 15. 15, 15. You can move one more then if you want. No need. <laughs> All right. Uh, right there. Sorry. Shiki is up. I was just <clears throat> to move this, 
being very honest, at this point, it's just clean up. I'm just hoping to have fun with this anymore. Okay. Um, if I say if I was going to stand there, could I fire down there? You could actually, yes. You might need to stand like more close to where Ion is. But you can like step on, stand on the steps and shoot down in. You right here, baby, right below Ion. She should. Yeah, have that would fight. actually. I'd allow it if you're right below Ion as well. Yeah, because I'm I'm not standing there. Yep. Yeah, that'd be dumb. And I'm gonna stand there, and I guess I'll have to hit the first target that's there. <laughs> All right, so. go ahead, shoot. Okay. Mm. Uh. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Mm. Luckily for you, the first target that is there is in rather shiny armor with a mace and a shield. It's in shiny armor with a mace and a shield. Okay, I am going to use a dead eye shot for advantage. Okay. <clears throat> and with that advantage, that will hit for 11 piercing damage mm. as he oh. reels back in pain. Okay, I'm also going to say I had a technique I had to reload beforehand, so I, that was it. All right, so that's all you can do? Yeah. All right. Goblin's turn. This goblin, the one that you see, he runs away into somewhere else. You can see as he does this, he's pulling out a potion, chugging it. Oh, God. He got punched. He, he's not happy. <laughs> no, it could be fire breath. He might be breathing fire. <laughs> That's a greater healing. You're going to... And you can kind of hear the goblins milling around down below. Not them. <laughs> and the ship lurches again. What are they doing? They're being goblins. You should probably out find out. Be quite honest. You should probably find out what the hell they're doing. They might be disabling the end. All right. Um, no uh, goblins poke their head out. How? Actually, that is a lie. No, no goblins poke their head out. So Cassie's turn. Cassie is going to limp up here, and she's going to look over at Sarah. Maybe we should just send her down to walk around. The goblins can't seem to really stand those guardians she has. You're also dead. And she's not really going to do much more aside from look around and try to see if there's any other goblins up here. And she'll suggest that we can clear these small rooms up here if you want to go down below. And Cassidy will probably heal herself a little bit more because she does need it. I like how the life cleric slowly becomes the war cleric. <laughs> oh, that leader, is good is heal. Their leader still down there, so her going down alone isn't a good idea right now. Tell the well, leader. Why don't down. we? Well, if you all join her, it should be fine, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be fine. We can do it. See turn, okay. by the way. <clears throat> Five, ten, fifteen. So twenty takes you down. You going down? Oh, yep. uh, you see, as you step down there, there's a bunch of goblins. They all have their scimitars and everything else at the ready, getting ready to attack you. But roll spirit guardians. Actually, no, because that's on their turn, so it doesn't do it yet. Yeah. Okay. It's so, two of them go to attack you as the spirit guards are running. Go to attack you with scimitars. Miss. That'll hit for six damage. Mm. <laughs> Not the time to bust out some heals. Yeah, I know. DC 10. Yep. Oh, and that's still... Those aren't and secrets. Then in there, the are two, there? There's one, like the staircase going down, you can see that there's goblins above you and below you. I'm using this map term, so north and south. And they draw their short bows and they try to fire at you. The first one, his short bow breaks in half. The other one manages to hit you for eight piercing damage. And another DC 10. Made it. And, and that's all the held actions. That's all their held, so I'm going. Because I have to at this point with how my health... Actually, how, how low? Low. Uh, let me check my actual max. I could get... Four. How low is Cassidy? Because she's still technically in range of my channel. Cassidy is above half. Everyone so else group. is above half. Everybody else is above half but me, so I'm going to blow my life on healing me. Okay. For 16. That's really good. 
It is. Actually, for level two, it's not quite as good, but it's still pretty damn good. Yeah. It's good because of the bonus thing. Yep. Um, you have Bardic Inspiration as well, so I think you can use that because of Valor Bard not as with a reaction. I think. With a reaction I to try to reduce, like, increase your AC for one attack. Oh, yeah. let me hit one attack, yeah. Yeah, let me hit Azul's Bardic Inspiration because that has everything on it. I have a macro for it. Roll a d8 on ability attack, saving weapon damage, or against an attack to add the roll to the AC. Yeah, for one attack. Yeah, Valor Bardic Inspiration for it. Yep. All right. So you just. Uh, yeah, I'll just have tanked all of it. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, because you. Use a full heal anyway. So next up is Azul's turn. Azul is going to come down here. She is going to dash to the back of the ship now, confident that everyone else can help things up front. And she's just going to look around, seeing about ways to the other parts of the ship to investigate. Azul is up. Well, it's going to uh, step out here, which is going to be 10 feet, 15 to be up here. Yep, so 15 out there. All right, and then she's gonna dash. Can't even read my numbers. All right, so that is. She's gonna come down to join Sayara. That was 35 Oi. plus 15 is 50, so I have 10 more feet. I think we're definitely. I have to throw money at Black Hook now. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I'll cover that later. Um. I have so 10 more feet of movement, deeps? so I'm just going to... 10 more feet of movement, go so you're right going to go down. down. So you'll be able to get to right there, yes. Yep. <laughs> and... Yeah, that's that's my... That's all my turn. turn, so I'm probably going to lose my rage after this. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry? What for? <laughs> <laughs> that you're losing your rage. That's ah, fine. I don't need it anyways against goblins. Mm. God damn it. So that's that's all, right. all my turn. So Ion would be up. All right, yep. so Ion's up. All right, Cheeky, you got this. You got up here. Five, Ion, five ten to go down. You don't really have the clearest way to get down there. Um, I will jump off the damn stairs if I have to. I'm gonna allow you to like balance on the banister here. You know what? I'll work with it. I had to say, since you have the really quick move to check out all the other places, but... I'm going to have a goblin. One above me. So, the one above you? Yep. That will hit, obliterating him, as he turns into not that much of an high school. Number five to go there, so that's 15. Uh, yeah, roll in uh, acrobatics for me. Acrobatics? Yeah, because you're kind of balancing on the banister and everything else around goblins and every other enemy. Acrobatic. All right, you managed to stick your landing and do not go prone. All right. Next attack. You have a good goblin right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll miss. If you moved a little more, you get advantage. Too late now. Yep. Actually, no. Not too late. I'll move right there. Oh. Yeah, but it won't be on that attack. It'd be on your next. Yeah. That's what I meant by too late. Well, And that one will hit with advantage as this goblin dies. Fuck, you could have broken I own, At the current position you're in, you can see this little room that was at directly at the base of the stairs. It has a bunch of weird, large panels in it. And that goblin boss you were fighting earlier is currently messing around with them. Okay, she's going to move right here. <clears throat> All right, she can start. Okay, is there actually any way for me to squeeze in with these Probably guys? Probably not. Uh, yes, there is actually ways for you to get down there. Okay. Do you have 30 okay. movement, or 60 movement, or 30? Uh, I have 30. 30. 30. All right, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 there. Jesus Christ! Okay, um... Yeah, and more things you can see down at the 
bottom of the ship is. You can see behind the stairs, there look, looks to be a bunch of crates with supri- supplies. They were kind of strewn about randomly, but they kind of got pulled back together at some point. Um, <laughs> two what looked to be lifeboats, almost, with wings or something, which would kind of make sense, considering this is supposedly... Okay, can I just, like, step upwards? You can still you have still five feet of movement, yes. Okay, so if I just go there? Yep, you can go there. Oh, I can't see Goblin Boss. <laughs> you can see another Goblin outside of it, though. Uh, damn it. Flip that. Sorry, I'm trying to make I'm meta game. <laughs> you want to kill Goblin Boss? <laughs> I want to kill Goblin Boss, because I would if I could hear boopity beep boop 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 boop, I don't like the sounds of that. <laughs> The whole ship is rumbling, which is I, the thing that's not good. <laughs> I look at Goblin Boss, I shake my head. Has he got a shield up? He does have a shield up, yes. He doesn't appear to have any two-handed weapons at all, so he always has a shield at the ready. Okay, so yeah, uh, I'm going to fire with Deadeye. On all right, Goblin and Boss. that will... <laughs> and as you pull up your shot to hit this Goblin, you kind of feel like just anger at him messing around with all this technology you want to examine. And your fury, you line up this shot perfectly. Fire seems to go across your arm into the pistol as the shot streaks out at him. It will hit, dealing 11 piercing damage and 3 fire damage. And what does that I do? Uh, just advantage? gave me advantage. Just gave you advantage? All right. So I didn't need it, but it was better than... Yeah. You, I was checking the other He, however, it. is still alive despite the, despite the puncture wound, which was instantly cauterized by the fire. Well, guess what? I've got another dead eye. <laughs> I got another dead eye for him. <laughs> yeah, you gained the grit that you spent too, so... Yep. <laughs> All right, and with the second shot... He's still caught off guard, and you catch him in the other shoulder this time, and he kind of reels back in pain, taking another nine damage. So he still staggers on his feet woundedly. He's on his last legs. God damn it. <laughs> Is that it for your turn? <sighs> yeah, well, I can't do anything else. Roll Spirit Guardians. That's the damage. 13 damage. God damn it, you mean I have to roll. Yeah. <laughs> DC 15 it. wisdom. Oh, I hate you all too. You had I, one job. I actually did the job. math. Ten percent chance of that happening. Three, four. You can two give, of them pass. Two of them die. You can give them a plus uh, plus one if you want to that. Nope. The goblin boss, however, he like does his best to fight off these spirit guards that are swirling around him until two of them come from either side and just impale him through his body in both directions and he just falls to the ground dead. Do they, car- do they carry him off as well? <laughs> well. Well. Alright. And the other goblins now. This one's going to take a step back. This one's going to... He can't really get into a good position so he's just going to hide. This one's going to kind of come up here. Oh, those, oh, those two in there survives. They're not going <laughs> to attack? They're going to attack, don't worry, I'm just okay. moving everyone. And you can see a bunch of goblins are pouring out of this hallway behind you. Yep, figured. There's so many goblin generators in this boat. There's so many <gasps> Aren't there? Honestly, my entire plan afterwards was just going to be dart down the hallway. Though you get the feeling that this is probably the extent of the goblins up here. Alright, so let's start off with, you are going to... Take a shot with your bow. Let me. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, here you go. I don't need the goblin boss up anymore because he's dead. So shot the bow at Ciara. We'll miss. Scimitar at Ciara. We'll miss. Bows at Ciara. Ooh, that is a crit. 10 piercing damage. Another bow at Ciara. That'll miss. Uh, you can't really see anything there. But I own crit for eight damage. It only eight. <laughs> yes. Only eight. Yes. That poor bastard. That Other poor shot bastard. that I own will uh, miss. Uh, hold up. Hold up. The one that did eight. Yeah. Yep. Hot. Throw it at this guy, please. She can't see I him. I can't see him. Darn it. So you're gonna throw it back at these guys. Roll an attack roll, or the reflect roll. The one who crit me. 
Mm-hmm. I okay. clicked it. I clicked Wait. it. For it. I know. I'm waiting for it too. And that will hit. And you're not able to hit quite as hard as he did as he survives barely despite the arrow which is now poking out of his chest. Luckily, he did not hit him in the knee. It probably would have killed him if it hit him in the knee. Uh, Next up, I think that's all the gobos. Next up will be Cassidy, who will just kind of run around to be ready to join Azul should she need any help. Sierra's turn. Well, because there's that one right in front of me. Move without taking attack without it. I'll try to hit him. I All missed. Right. And you'll miss. Can I get there? Roll an acrobatics. Oh, Jesus. You do have Arctic Inspiration, keep in mind. Yeah. I could have added that to the mace. <laughs> God dang it. Uh, you... I'll, I'll are you gonna... do that. What are you adding it to? The... Well, I'd have to add it to the acrobatics because you, yep, the acrobatics. you already told me the mace. You do, because you were gonna, you would have um, tripped and gone prone otherwise. So yeah. You're able to vault over the side there and land safely on your feet. Three point. And then I'll move. I'll move there. Okay. That Just get that golden. Yes. I it. don't have any other actions. All right, Azul is up. Azul, she's gonna look in the room here. She's gonna break the door down, run inside. We she can't. sees a yeah. I realize she's anything. gonna see mm-hmm. a single goblin. You sh- actually you can't see her, can you, Jeeps? Nope. None of us can her. see her. Can we all have vision on her? Um. Yeah, I'll give the whole party vision on her. I don't really mind if you see. I thought I gave you vision on her. Nope. Oh well. Come on, Azul. Oh yeah, that's what I have to do. I have to edit this. To be seen Everyone. and controlled by. Does she just not have vision then? Huh. Because Jeeves, you should have... She just doesn't have sight. That's the issue. So Jeeves can see her, at least. And you need sight as well. So yeah, now you can see both of them. That is my mistake. Yeah, the reason we took sight off Cassidy was because of shape changing. Yeah, that's... Yep. All right, so I am i don't mind if anyone, if everyone can see Azul. God damn it, I hit the wrong button. It's just nice to be able to see what's going on instead of just, yeah. hey, this is what's happening. Where? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm. I apologize. I accidentally tabbed out, so I gotta everything reload and. Oh, I hate it when I do that. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. So I'm just gonna give everyone access to Cassidy for the time being, and everyone access to Azul for the time being. Do you want me to roll for Cat or for Azul while you're getting everything open? Players. Yeah, roll a uh, Sunblade attack. Okay. Oh my God! We can see. Assume she would swing again. Is she two hand yeah, or one hand? She's two handing it. Okay, so that's the second attack. Well, the first, yeah, the so the second attack will definitely kill it. She unfortunately missed the first time. This room she's in currently, she's gonna mention when she gets back to the people. It's small. She'd actually say it's probably the uh, first mate's quarters, judging from the size and how it's all laid out. Probably one of the other not captain rooms. And then she's going to run out this way to look into this room because she can get about there with her movement, I believe. Then back to Lily. Lily's rage drops. Mm-hmm. Of which I am super sad. Mm-hmm. No, I haven't. And uh, she's just going to attempt to knee this goblin in the balls. Okay. Knee the goblin in the balls. Yes. You have kneed that <laughs> goblin so hard in the balls, <laughs> reality is not quite sure if he ever had them to begin with. <laughs> Regardless, the sheer Stay for us speech all. of pain just gets into such a high-pitched tone that nobody here can hear it anymore. And he just falls over dead. They, well, they just freeze off. I'm sorry, that was necessary, that crit. That, was, <laughs> that uh... crit was totally necessary, <laughs> as was the description. Uh, then she's going to come over here when she sees him and is going to actually attack this one. And Lily, bringing her great sword across, she just cuts him in half and he's dead. <laughs> cool. That goblin, that description was worth it. I love it when crits actually work correctly like that. <laughs> Alright, uh, that'll be it for Lily, yes? Um, she's just going to move one more space and that, then that's it. 
All right, next up is Ion. All right, so moving here. Okay. Goblin to the right. Goblin to the right. One hit loads, one hit loads. And that'll miss. I miss. Goblin miss. to the right. Okay. I'm clicking again. I'm just waiting for it to load. Yep, 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 yep. That will hit, and the goblin to the right falls over in a frozen pile of goblin meat. Goblin to the left. <clears throat> goblin to the left. He did not have his bow out, or he did not have his shield up because he had his bow out, so that will hit, and you just kind of... You can hear his neck snap as you punch him in the face. And he falls over a little. Alright, and the rest of the movement. Here. <laughs> okay. Shiki is up. Okay, gonna move to there. Because so, I don't think I can... So I can see him. Yep. 